Well, I've been talking a lot about brain injury. I thought it would be helpful to go over some stuff about the brain, a little bit about how the brain works and different parts of the brain. So here we go. First of all, today, we'll talk about the frontal lobe. Front, that's your brain, and that's the front of the brain. And all of this part is the frontal lobe. It's actually the biggest part of the brain. It makes up about 40% of your brain. So what does it do? Well, it's responsible for voluntary movement, your ability to move. As I move my hand, it's like my frontal lobe is telling me to do it. Now that's the part right there, that part there, that red part, that's the actual movement part. This is the planning your movement part. And then there is the very front part of the frontal cortex. And what does that do? Well, that actually is a thinking part. And that does kind of higher level thinking, what we call executive functioning, which is planning, planning your day, planning a meal, organizing your life, making tough decisions, initiating or getting started on a task. So it's a pretty important part of the brain. So the brain, the frontal lobe also has a role in language and that's your ability to express language, to find the right words to say. So if the frontal lobe is injured, what might happen? Well, first of all, you might not be able to move well, might not be able to move my hand, I might have trouble walking. You might have trouble talking, finding the right words, which is called aphasia, or you might have some of those thinking difficulties, like again, thinking difficulties with planning, organizing, initiating. So there's the frontal lobe. 